Most fascinating part of the QBot is that right from the box, you can build many variants of the robots like um, line following, wall hugger, and uh, light activator robot, etc. Let's see how my daughter have built these variants on this QBot. In Think About Robot, let's see how even kids can build the line follower, light activated robots, and wall hugger robots, etc. Now let us see how the line following robot is working. Okay, the QBot is following the line perfectly. Perfectly now, it has got no confusions. No small changes we had to do. We have done it. You can see these sensors. Every time it goes out of the black line, it senses it and then pushes back into the line. Not all the time it will work as we expected, no? What are you doing now? Uh, coding the robot. Okay, what is the code about? It's about following the light as well as avoiding the obstacle. Okay, fine. Thank you. I keep telling coding is not for only software engineers. Look at my daughter. She has learned the programming of the of this robot. A lot of easy tools have come across um, block programming, code, um, uh, and also uh, you know drag and drop kind of programming. See how she is working on this tool, and she is combining two features. One is the light activation program and obstacle avoidance. Let's see how it works. Yes. Okay, so we integrated two functions. What are those things? Avoiding the obstacle and light following. Okay, so, so what happens if it is dark? The robot will stop. Explain completely like that. Okay. If it's dark uh, and it's uh, the light percentage is lesser than 100, mm -hmm. then the robot will stop. Mm -hmm. And if it is more than 100, it will start moving as well as avoid the obstacles. Okay. So how are you avoiding the obstacle? What logic have you put? When it starts moving, we have to um, uh, start, uh, code the robot to avoid the obstacle. How are you avoiding obstacle? If front center, meaning uh, if the obstacle is in the front of the robot, then it has to turn to the left. Mm -hmm. And then if it is to the left, it has to turn to the right. Mm -hmm. And then if it is to the right, it has to again turn to the left and start moving. Okay. It just avoid steps. Okay. Let's try again. Let's see what happens. So we have seen how two features can be combined in QBot and even kids can do programming. In the next video, I will be showing how my kids are enjoying QBot by placing different obstacles and see how the robot is breaking those obstacles and coming out and, you know, and, and making a course and making the robot to go through the course and all those fun. Okay, keep watching the videos. Kachao. It's trying to come out, there is no place. <laughs>